Boris Johnson will this afternoon set out plans for a strengthened three-tier system of coronavirus restrictions to replace the national lockdown in England to pave the way for a limited relaxation at Christmas. The Prime Minister is expected to propose a major testing scheme for close contacts of people with the virus to avoid the need for isolation. As he attempts to win over rebels on the Conservative backbenches, under the plans, non-essential shops are going to be able to open in all three tiers after the current restrictions expire, while small numbers of households across Britain will be able to mix at Christmas. Mr Johnson is also set to outline a major rapid testing programme for all areas forced into the highest tier of restrictions. Donald Trump is appealing a federal judge's dismissal of his campaign's effort to block the certification of votes in Pennsylvania. The president and other plaintiffs have filed a notice of appeal to the third U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals a day after the judge issued a scathing order shooting down claims of widespread irregularities with mail-in ballots. It is seen as Mr. Trump's best chance to affect the election results given Pennsylvania's 20 electoral college votes. British Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, is being warned by Labour against imposing a public sector pay freeze on millions of workers. Mr Sunak hinted yesterday he could impose the freeze due to the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic, although it is believed NHS nurses and doctors will be exempt. However, the Labour Party's shadow Chancellor Annalise Dodds will use a speech today to call for Mr Sunak to use his spending review this week to treat frontline workers decently rather than grinding them down. A woman in her 30s is in a life-threatening condition after being shot in East London last night. Emergency services were called to Westgate Street in Hackney just before 9pm and the woman was taken to an East London hospital. The Metropolitan Police said last night there had been no arrests. Shamina Begum's potential return to the UK to challenge being stripped of her British citizenship will be considered by the Supreme Court during a two-day hearing starting this morning. Ms Begum was one of three East London schoolgirls who travelled to Syria to join the so-called Islamic State group in February 2015 and she had her citizenship revoked last year. The Court of Appeal said she should be allowed back into the UK to challenge that decision but the government will ask five Supreme Court judges to overturn that ruling. And finally, Taylor Swift has made it three Artist of the Year wins in a row at the American Music Awards and has also confirmed she is in the process of re-recording her old music. The pop titan made her acceptance speech remotely because she was in the studio working on new versions of her back catalogue after the master recordings of her first six albums were sold against her wishes to a private equity firm. Swift also won favourite music video for Cardigan and favourite pop rock female artist. Dua Lipa won the award for favourite pop rock song for Don't Start Now and delivered her acceptance speech from the Royal Albert Hall in London.